I'm in the process of inspecting the shift mechanism uh, on this 74 gearbox and deciding what I want to replace. And I was testing the pawl spring, the infamous pawl spring that uh, is prone to breakage and uh, can leave you stranded, unable to shift. The, the bike will stay in the gear that uh, it is in when the spring breaks. And there's a test when you have it on the bench to see if that spring is binding. And that test is to actuate the pawl, the shift pawl, and see if the spring binds. So I was actuating the shift pawl. You can see it move there. And I brought it back uh, quite far to see if, in its stroke, this range of motion to see if the spring would break or was binding. And the spring actually broke. I don't know if you can see it in there. So. In 81 and later, 82 actually and later, uh, as part of the shift kit, they um, changed, uh, even though they didn't change the part numbers, but they changed the design on a number of parts, two of which is this Paul. the shifter pawl arm, and then this segment, which the shifter, the pawl, uh, rides in. This segment has been offset, and the arm has also been changed um, to prevent this spring from binding. They're available from BMW, about $50 total for both parts. I'm probably going to spring for these parts and replace these parts. The shifter, Paul, the spring, and the segment. Um, I'm also going to replace this roller, nylon roller. It's badly worn and notched. I'm going to replace that with a ball bearing and I'm replacing all three springs. So this shift cam is one, two, and five, gears one, two, and five, and this shift cam is um, three and four. So on this shift cam, the lobes are more pointy on the shift kit cam 82 and later. These lobes are pointier to give more positive feel uh, on the shift. And on this shift cam, this was changed earlier around 1977 to um, try to prevent false neutrals. This is the lobe here that depresses the plunger on a 74 up to 76. This depresses the plunger on the neutral switch and activates the neutral switch. What they did when they changed this uh, cam plate in 77 and later, they made this a detent, a recess here. So the plunger on the neutral switch falls into a a valley here, and it's a more positive neutral. So the changes, there were there are three basic changes. 77 to change false neutrals, which requires the different um, uh, neutral switch. This is a trough instead of a, 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 a hill, it's a valley. Uh, that's separate from the shift kit, which consisted of this cam change, which has the steeper, more pointy lobes for better shifting, 
and then also the shift kit involved an offset segment, a different uh, pawl, and a different spring. Uh, and apparently uh, those three changes were to prevent spring breakage. And if the spring did break, apparently uh, you would be able to still shift the bike based on the new pawl arm. I'd like to demonstrate what happens when the shifter pawl spring breaks and um, the gearbox gets stuck in the gear that it was in when the spring broke. This is a fairly common issue on uh, earlier airheads. So I've bolted up the shift linkage here so this would uh, protrude, this shaft would protrude through the gearbox and um, on the left side of the box your toe shifter linkage links up to this arm here and allows you to downshift and upshift. So I'm going to disassemble this so we can better see that mechanism. So downshift, push down, downshift, upshift, upshift. So when you move the shifter, it actuates this pawl, which has a spring on it right here. And it's that spring that breaks. It get so by downshifting, it rotates this shaft down and pushes this pawl down, this pawl arm down, and rotates this gear, this cam wheel. So now that's in first gear. That's neutral. That's second gear, third gear, fourth gear, fifth gear, fourth gear. And that's not so easy. Uh, third gear, second gear, neutral. Okay, so. What I'm going to do is uh, put a broken spring on there and show you what happens, how, what, show you how you cannot shift it once that spring is broken. Okay, so I have the cam wheels off and that is the shifter pawl. And that's the spring that breaks and it breaks because it binds. When you, when this is overextended, that spring binds and rubs on itself and over time it uh, wears and creates a weak point on the spring and it breaks. And that spring is broken, but it's holding together just enough that allowed me to shift it in the prior segment. So you can see that spring is broken there, but it's holding together, it's cracked, but it's holding together just enough to allow the shifts to occur. All right, I'm gonna remove the shifter pawl to expose the spring. And 
and there's there you can see the spring and it's broken it's still attached and it was allowing me to shift in the prior segment but I'm going to break it all the way off and I'm going to reinstall it and then reassemble the uh, the shift mechanism and then try to shift it You can see now how that just the shifter Paul has no recoil to it. The spring breaks, the Paul falls away, and now you have no shifting, no ability to shift it, to ratchet that. It's stuck in the gear that it's in when the spring broke. So if it were in third gear, for example, and this pole falls away and you actuate the shifter, you get no action. There is a tool that allows you to sneak in from the uh, oil drain where you actually put, engage that, push the pawl up to engage the pins. And then shift it into a gear, maybe a higher gear or lower gear so you can try to ride the bike home. So the pawl grabs hold of those pins and ratchets, rotates the cam wheel. And it's this roller, when you shift it into gear, this is pretty heavily spring loaded. So when you shift it into gear, that nylon roller falls into these detents and that's what you feel when it's snapping into gear. I'm going to, re you can see that that's badly worn. It's not, no longer even um, completely round but there's a bearing and I'll post the part number. There's a bearing. It's a $5 bearing. Um, I replace these with a bearing rather than retain the, uh, the plastic or nylon uh, roller. And it just makes for a smoother shift the way it feels. Everything, it smooths it up. Um, some have reported that the steel bearing it's a little ball bearing, wears the cam plate, but I've seen no evidence of that in the boxes I've done.